Well, here is the Starlink update you asked for, and if you didn't ask for it, you're getting it anyway, because there's a lot going on, including we now know that over a million customers are being served by Starlink. SpaceX tweeted that Starlink now has more than a million active subscribers, and they wanna thank all the customers and members of the Starlink team who contributed to this milestone. I, of course, want to thank Starlink for existing because that's really how Ellie and Space got started. Back in February of 2021, I made my first video about Starlink, that sort of took off. And here we are still covering Starlink developments, and I know a lot of you that subscribe to Ellie and Space use Starlink, so, one of the replies to this tweet that I saw that really touched me is this one. This user wrote in originally saying, my father-in-law is very sick. He lives in the rural mountains of Northern California. He doesn't have internet and there is limited cell service. Using Starlink, my wife is able to stay with him and continue to work and stay connected with us for as long as necessary. And recently with an update, my wife's dad was given weeks to live and put on hospice. Thanks to the mobility feature on our Starlink, she was able to move in with him temporarily and nurse him back to health as he is officially off hospice. So obviously a beautiful story and just one of many examples of how Starlink is literally changing lives. This year, Starlink expanded to Royal Caribbean cruise ships, yachts, and other large boats, as well as RVs. Starlink is available in 32 countries currently and now has about 3,000 operational satellites. Back in September, Elon announced that Starlink had manufactured over a million user terminals, and now here we are in December with over a million customers. And just today, Ars Technica reported that Ukraine will continue to receive assistance from Starlink. Ukraine is reportedly getting 10,000 more Starlink antennas, and the funding problems are, quote, resolved. So Ukraine will get more Starlink terminals in the coming months. And this is all because of a new deal with SpaceX and funding from several European countries. The Ukrainian government official Mikhailo Fedorov said in an interview with Bloomberg that all financial issues have been resolved at least until the spring. You'll remember SpaceX previously asked the Pentagon to help fund the Ukraine government and military's use of Starlink. SpaceX said they couldn't afford to donate more user terminals or pay for operations forever. But then Elon backtracked in October. He said the hell with it. Even though Starlink is still losing money and other companies are getting billions of taxpayer dollars, we'll just keep funding the Ukrainian government for free. Another incredible milestone I wanted to touch on is Elon congratulated SpaceX for three perfect orbital launches, all within a 36 hour window. So this is incredible. One of those launches included a Falcon 9 launch of 54 Starlink satellites. And one of the boosters for those launches had some milestones of its own. That booster had its 15th flight, also the 779th satellite delivered by just that one booster. And that same booster took Bob and Doug to the ISS on its first flight. So a lot going on in the world of Starlink. I just wanted to give you this quick update because I saw that SpaceX released this video, which uh, I'm really happy they did because sometimes a B-roll of Starlink in use is hard to find. So congratulations to SpaceX and to all of the customers that are able to use Starlink and that it's really helping them out. Um, it's great to see how much Starlink has progressed in 2022, and I'm sure that it'll grow even more next year. So thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.